Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson Sen. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So Black Panther coming out in a week, two weeks? It yeah, looks yeah. amazing. It looks great. looks great. It's Very already cool. premiered overseas or whatever, the big red carpet. And of course, I, like I said before, I don't like Twitter reviews because you're limited to so many words. words. And of course, everyone loved it. And then you get people who loved it so much, you make you think like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The movie's great, but my goodness, it's not the first... Like, they literally are typing this like, it's the first Marvel movie that it truly stood for something. Are you kidding me? I know. Civil War didn't stand for The thing? first Captain America movie. Yeah, was I was right fighting... The, I, I know the thing punched the Nazis. He was actually literally punching Nazis. Yeah. I, I don't... <laughs> I don't... Do you think, oh, though, I've never liked comic book movies, and after this one, oh, it's, it's all been changed. Come on. Yeah, yeah the hyperbole has got to go away. I'm going to like this movie, but it's like I got all these idiots weeping in the aisles, like, whoa, calm down. Damn. It's not... It's, it's not real, you know. But kind of in a real place, right? Yeah, exactly, right. I don't want to. I don't want to bring that up because it's a cool idea, but you're 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 ruining it for the very fact that you're overreacting to it, and you need yeah. not do that. See, and then you know, there's all these again. Uh, some of these Twitter reviews. I won't. I won't say people's names or anything. Or, but it's kind. Of, some of them are kind of ridiculous. So you know, you know, kind of has that um, hype, and I hate when things build up so much so hype, hype because hype is real. The last sets of movies that have come out, the critics and the audience have been almost flip flopped. Yeah, when yeah. critics seem to hate something, um, uh, Will Smith's bright. Yeah, the, the the fans love it. The critics are like, nah, 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 it's awful. And then you get things like, you know, these stupid political movies like The Post. Of course, all the all the everyone loves it. Then now the critics are like and viewers, yeah. actual audience members are like, this movie's stupid. Yeah. yeah. So silly. like we're mm-hmm. getting these these this flip different pop. chasms. Like it's not even close. So I don't want that to happen with Black Panther. No. Because there's this whole... Uh, I remember uh, M15 PCA brought this up. He was telling me, yeah, there's this group of DC fans. I don't fanboys. They're not even fans. They're fanboys. And they're like, oh, we're going to review review bomb it and give it a horrible review because uh, we're on Tomatoes is in cahoots with Disney to give them good reviews. They think they pay for good reviews. No, they actually do good movies. They don't no. have to pay for them. Do people yeah. not realize Ron Tomatoes isn't a review place? They just no. take everyone else's reviews. reviews. So they don't have to individually pay off all the other reviewers. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's not how it works. It would take too much money. So, and the the tomato score was like at like a six percent. Then Ron Tomatoes took down the score, and Which then they even moved. they even put a little thing on there saying we won't tolerate uh, people, you know, mass review bombing of movies and stuff like that. So, did that happen? See, this is where we're not, we don't know. You can't. We can't tell. That's the problem. Yeah, check out our. We did a video uh, about a couple months ago called "Is Rotten Tomatoes Ruining Movies." And it kind of is because you have a situation like this. Yeah. Because yeah. now, since this has happened, we don't know now from the future if this is going to happen again. And the thing is, um, a lot of people are like, oh, it's just this great you know, black movie, African-American actors, and everyone on it was African-American. Okay. Um, first of all, it's not the first black superhero movie. The Blade was. Blade yeah. and that the movie first was- serious one. There were some silly ones before that. Yeah, there was stuff like... Um, uh, what was the one with uh, was Eddie David Murphy, with the yeah. Martian Man or oh, something? Yeah, David Wayne's. He was Blank Man. Yeah. I actually saw that yeah, in theaters. Like... Blank Man's a funny movie. Go see it. It's actually funny. <laughs> Blank Man, yes. <laughs> he's he's, the one, he's exhort books, right? Wasn't it? Yeah, like, uh, he, like he picked up like a... Uh, it was really funny because he had like a Bruce Lee book. Yeah. So the guy, then he like grabbed like a Better Homes and Gardens magazine. So he's like doing little like swifter attacks and stuff, like <laughs> yeah. cleaning things. That well, was well, we can't forget. We can't forget the Shaq Man of Steel, which was awesome. Oh, yeah, man. which was another black yeah. lead superhero. Yeah, it was. So let's let's be honest. And they try to say oh, Blade's a horror movie. What are you stupid? Yeah, no. Blade is not a horror. Movie. Not only was Blade a great movie, the soundtrack was absolutely oh, amazing. Great. The first oh. one, especially. I mean, I liked all the Blade movies, but that first. I, I will leave amazing. a link to the opening scene when the club when he's fighting all those vampires. What a cool scene. Great oh, yeah. scene. And you just see Blade walks in, he has his sword down, he's wearing all black. Yeah. He's like, oh! You want, yes. if you, want to say, you want to say superhero horror movie? Fine, but it's not a horror it's movie. It's still a superhero movie. Yeah, it is. Exactly. It's just like how we said before. Marvel can get can do stories where it's like, they're superheroes, but they have different genres, different uh, themes. The Hulk isn't a superhero. He's a scientific accident movie. That'd be like saying that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. And remember, this was even done before even the whole thing with Marvel movie yeah. going to Disney. So... Blade is way Blade was the that. first. It was like in the 90s, yeah. I think 95. Such a good movie. A very it good is. movie. Uh. But going back to Black Panther, I think it's going to be a great movie regardless of this whole like, uh, oh, people are loving it for racial reasons. It's a good movie it's on its own. Movie, yeah. You don't need to be putting all these stupid things. I can't say it's a good movie. It looks like a good movie. We we're definitely going to go see it. And it will be a re- we'll do a review right away. Yeah. But for the most part, it looks good. 
not as good as I think these people are making now, it out Now, here's the thing I'm also thinking. There's going to be multiple reasons why the score is like that. It could actually be these DC guys that did it, or gals, whatever. Or it could be people that are trying to sabotage it to say, oh, look at all this racial people doing it, and they really do like it, but they want it to get a little score so they can complain about, oh, look at all this little score. Why is exactly, it having a little Exactly. Score? The, the first black Marvel movie. movie yeah, exactly. See, I don't know. I mean, hey, or it could be people that just don't really like it. <laughs> I'm going to, okay, I lied. I'm going back. I'm, I, I'm a liar. I'm going to read one Twitter comment, and I want to read the person's name, and you're going to tell me <laughs> how stupid this sounds. Okay. Okay, the guy's name is Geeks of Color. Okay. So okay, we're so you could, the basis he, he has to identify himself as uh, his race is important to him. He race, yes. Black Panther is the best MCU movie ever. I was blown away from start to finish. I'm not even being biased. Your name is Geeks of Color, and you're not being. And you have this put in your tweet that I'm not being biased. That means yeah. you think that you are being biased. And again, I agree. The movie probably is going to be amazing. But the greatest thing ever. Why can't it be amazing? Because I like the way the the costume looks. It looks amazing. I like how the costumes of all the characters look. I like how Wakanda looks. Why can't I just like it for what it is? Why does it have to have a racial opponent to it? Yeah. Why? I don't. I don't like that. I don't think like that. Can we like Black Panther just because of his characters and his morals? Yeah. Well. Yeah. And now he's regal and how he acts like Kyle King and he's not a media like Aquaman. Yeah. And he has that struggle between do I want to be this guy that's vigilante and getting the bad guys or do I rule my kingdom? Yeah. And we first saw that in Civil War at Mm -hmm. the end when he could have killed that. That guy, but he did it. Yeah. He did the righteous thing. Yeah, and he's like, he's looking at him. I've been my whole time hunting the wrong man, and now I actually have the right man. Yeah. And I see him; he's a pathetic nothing. Yeah, exactly. killing you would would grant you a, a favor. Yeah, no, exactly. you're going to get arrested. You're going to sit in a jail cell for the rest of your life. That's what makes him interesting character, right there. Exactly. And he could have just tore his throat yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Easily, easily. I mean, that's what he was trying to. He's trying to kill himself, actually, at that and, part. Yeah, and I'm looking through just going through the thing. You see a lot of things about representation and stuff. See, that, what, it's it, you know it's not saying reputation is a bad thing, but that's not the reason why something is good. That's what I would just yeah exactly. <laughs> well, can we just like a movie for a movie? Why? And oh. then you know there's all these crazy Twitter things going on and oh telling oh if you're not of a particular race you're not allowed to talk about things. Oh come on, get off it. Yeah, it's a comic book movie that everyone can enjoy. Uh, the thing is, I really do like Kevin Smith. I watch comic book man. I love a lot of his movies. He even said a stupid thing one time. He's like, well, I can't talk about it. Yes, you can. Why? She said, why? You can talk about it. There's nothing stopping you. Yeah, and there was another... Um, I'm trying to remember who it was. I wasn't. It was a Marvel editor. And during the red carpet event, some of the uh, people were actually wearing traditional African garb. Oh, cool. And he's like, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I thought the, the costume you're wearing were really good. I don't know, like, like asking permission. Yeah. Why did you say, wow, I thought that it, the, the traditional garb was really cool. I would have said cool. it. I wouldn't even, awesome. I wouldn't even came in my mind and say, I can't say this. You don't need to have someone's permission to have an opinion on anything. And what's even more disturbing, you're complimenting it. <laughs> so yeah. Why would you wear something bad? Now if you're like, oh, I look like trash. You even look a little bad. You mean, that's okay, but yeah. you were complimenting it. So yeah. it's doubly stupid. I know in the last couple podcasts we've been running into like this you know cultural appropriation SJW stuff and I don't like talking about it because I don't want to talk about geek stuff but it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up and it keeps coming up and Black Panther although it looks like a great film I keep saying that I'm broken record it looks great Great. but all these like glowing reviews like it's the reason why cinema was invented I mean come on it's gonna be better than the freaking uh, the new Affinity War uh, war no no forget that it's gonna be better than Ben Hur that's what they're acting like (laughs) Like, come on let's get let's get some perspective here a lot of people are talking about how the villain's really good Killmonger yeah. And um, I, that is cool because I love my, Michael B. Jordan's a cool Oh, yeah, he dad. did Creed. And he oh, did he's such a cool, cool guy. guy. Hey, yeah. I know I've probably said this before, but please make him John Stewart Green Lantern. Please, oh, in the movies, man. please. That will get me to see that movie if he's in it. Oh, oh I love that. Yeah. He just has a presence and he's yeah. such a good physical yeah. build. Makes you, you get back in the gym like, I want a Michael B. Jordan. Body. Please. He's when is Creed, when's Creed, when's Creed Q coming? I want to see that. I know it's not a geeky thing, but I want to go see yeah, Creed I want to see that. Yeah, we yeah. saw the first one in the theater. Excellent movie. You should see it. Oh, awesome. The movie's so great. Yeah. It's just, um, you know, I'm just scrolling through all these different uh, Twitter things. Some of them are just ridiculous. Some of them are just like, oh, great movie. It was beautiful, soulful. And I'm like, okay, I get that. But then, like, get the ones where it's like, okay, oh, calm down, friend. It's a little much. Yeah, it's the greatest thing ever so, in cinema. And again, and that just plays it up. Then there probably are stupid people out there. They're going to review bomb the movie just because, one, they hate the characters or they hate Marvel. They hate something for whatever reason. They hate for racial reasons. And there's th- those people do exist. But is it enough to... Bring down change. a whole stick, you know. No, I, I, don't I don't know. know. But again, though, like we said about these people right here, those people are just equally stupid. Yeah, they're hated because they're racist. That's just as stupid. Yeah, you. If you hate Black Panther all because it has an African American cast, a black cast, you're just a moron. You're an yeah, idiot. Yeah. Sorry. You, you. You have every right in the world to have that feeling. But yeah. I, have the, <laughs> yeah. I have the feelings to call you an idiot. 
in a yeah. moron, and I'm not that's, gonna. You don't have to be my friend. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's weird. Yeah, you shouldn't be. Like and that. technically, if you want to talk about black superheroes, Spawn. That oh, one, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. No, Al Simmons. Al Simmons. Yeah, Al Simmons. There you go. He was Al cool Simmons too. Was a badass. Yeah, <laughs> he was badass. cool. But I wish I wish the better movies better. I hope the new ones gonna be better. But that's not what we're talking about. Yeah, we're talking yeah. about Black Superhero. But Spawn's a horror movie. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not a superhero movie. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So we will. I'm thinking about. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it all together, but definitely me and M50P will see it. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll uh, try maybe it, midnight yeah. showing. Maybe no, depends. Maybe, on how maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Uh, we'll do two reviews. One will be an instantaneous review right after watching the movie. And then we'll do a review the next day after things. Yeah, process. I mean, yeah. Bob, the good thing is now some of the movies are at seven, so maybe we yeah, don't because we live we live out west, so we get to see movies like at seven p.m. Yeah, it's because technically it's midnight in other places, so they show it. Yeah, so we don't have to stay up so late. Yeah, but again, I want this movie to do well mm-hmm. because I want the MCU to build this this another great character. The Black Panther is a cool yes. character, and now he's he's cool because he's heroic. He's cool because he's a king and he loves his people cool. and he's trying to do what's best and now they're trying to get back into the world. What? He's not cool because, oh, he's a black guy. No, that that's literally the least important thing yeah, about him. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And also he's cool. a hero. Yeah, and I love the fact, like, when you watch the trailer, the first one, he's, he's he's coming out of a ship and he's spinning around and he gets his claws out. Like, that's just awesome. Yeah. You can't say anything And then that, that poster when he's standing on the big yeah, panther there, statue. Yeah. It's like... That is such a cool poster. Yeah. And then they're playing this song, the revolution won't be televised, and then it starts like, yeah, that's awesome. You get hyped for it. Step into the spotlight. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, no, right? so cool. Yeah. Yeah. See, that, yeah. oh, I'm telling you, Marvel has rich tapestry, and it's all over the place, and it just gets better and better. Yeah. With these and then you get these, again, like we said, the people who love it is like this, again, I'm looking at another one right here. It's a, it, an historic work. Mm. I don't come on guy I mean I don't know I don't know about that oh yeah it's, yeah, it's right there with you know I don't know it's glory, glory. <laughs> it's just, yeah I know right oh, the landscape is forever changed in comic books <laughs> I don't know about that guys another thing I want to say we've said this a little bit touched on this on this part too it's not the first black comic book it's not the first it's not guys we've got to stop pretending it is yeah, please and another thing is too I know I don't want to bring this up but people like oh look who kind of all these things um, they have a gigantic energy wall. They are xenophobic. They don't allow anyone into their country. They're very, yeah. Who does that sound like? I don't know, guys. It doesn't sound like a liberal paradise to me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, they have their things because they're always, they always got to defend. They always got to be on the defense. And there's like, you know, there's some little things in the comics and stuff like Wakanda. They have a cure to cancer, but they won't share it with the world because they don't think we deserve it. Is really? That a good thing? Yeah. Really? Is that a good thing? Do you kinda... Okay, when you think about when you get down to it, like you look in the comics of some of the things they do, some of their rules are like the same as Ivory and Doctor Doom. Yeah. It's that same mentality in some of the things. That's not right. Yeah. I mean, you, they can do it, but it's not right. Yeah, and it, and it shows the interesting between the two, like how, yeah, it's a beautiful place and it has a lot of good things for it, but they also have these rules. I hope they show both sides. Different, yeah. That are different. From I, th- like, I think hopefully they are, because I could tell, I think they might. They should. Yeah, I don't know. We're definitely going to go see it. I just feel weird about that whole Facebook group. And you know, I don't know. The right answer for me, honestly, is I think maybe they stop having then. See, but here's the thing. The whole thing about review bombing, I mean, to segue into video games a little bit. Let's say a video game's been out for like a couple of years and then one of the creators says something or has a, you know, an allegation that he touched a woman. Then they'll go back, change their review scores, and then bomb the game. What yeah, does that have to do yeah. with the man yeah, who you did can't, the- You can't do that. It's not right. Yeah, but I don't think that's right. That's what's happening. Well, yeah. the, well, it's probably the, the, the Metacritic, which is the yeah. equivalent of Rotten Tomatoes. Bonuses are dependent on that. Yeah. You might see, not but get it's that so bonus. We- oh, wow. See, I don't like the idea of like, oh, years and years and years and years later, we find out this guy was, uh, you know, sexually harassing some woman in the office. That means all the games he made are horrible. And not only that, there's a lot of people yeah. that made those games besides him. Yeah, he didn't make it all by himself. No. no. Yeah. So we that's just... Team. So if you are even thinking about being part of these groups that will mass bomb a video, see the movie, and if you honestly don't like it, go ahead and post a review and say you don't like it. But don't just auto-hate something I, I right think, off the I gate. Think, I think, I hate to say it, but if you do fall for that, and you're a certain over an age of 13, let's say, I think you're kind of a loser. Yeah. I see yeah, it. You're, I get, I was right. you yeah. get the... The Crimson 15 Podcast, Silver Approval, you are a freaking loser. If you're joining the Facebook group, I gotta bring down this Marvel yeah. movie. They're just movies. That, They're when just it movies. comes to the yeah. things that annoy me as a geek, that goes up there. A little bit below is so bad are people that will just like watch every episode right away when it comes on Netflix. Like uh, the, the binge people. The binge, I, don't, I know it's not the same, but I don't like those people either. Yeah, and, and, and the comment about the, the latter one that you said were like, you know, going back in the past, if someone did something now and then you try to ruin their work. I personally think like, 
just look at the work as itself by I itself. Can, I can separate the art and the artist 99% of the time. time. Yeah, there's there's yeah. the rare, there's the rare 1% where it's like... It's so horrific, it's yeah. like... Hey, yeah, geez. it'd be like saying, like, looking at Hitler's art. And yeah, I know, like, right? Yeah, and be like, oh, no, there's a, there's, a, there's a fine line. I, I, I would also put Kevin Spacey. I can't watch his movies anymore. Yeah, I nah. love K-Pax. It's yeah, such a good, good movie, movie, but he's such a... American yeah. Beauty, I like uh, Unusual Suspects, Seven. Can't watch those movies anymore. I still think they're great movies, but I don't think I'll ever can see them again. Yeah, I can. But that goes back to this whole review thing. and yeah. Take things as a shot, snapshot in time, and they exist in that little bubble of time. And mm-hmm. then once you start looking at every... So again, if you knew everything that everyone ever did in every movie, you probably wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah, no. because everyone... I'm saying it makes it right, but people... Yeah, what I don't know is what I don't know. Yeah. 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 But uh, that that goes into another topic that we're yeah. probably... My, I don't know. There's a whole thing with Bushnell, and I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's, it's kind of a mess, but it's another one of those things where it's like, if things are true, does that discredit everything else? Yeah, I don't know, but we got it. We're moving yeah, on. Move Definitely on. gonna go see Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. Still think it looks great, regardless. Some of these review bombers say it's bad. I'm gonna go in with open eyes and still leaning towards it's gonna be great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So if I'm disappointed, we'll be honest. We we have been nothing but honest on this podcast. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie. Believe me, you you think I like to talk bad about Star Trek? <laughs> it's scary, but I have to. I'm not gonna lie. Because I'm not gonna lie when something's bad. Yeah, I'm not. And we are lifetime Trek fans. Yeah. Who've seen everything, cartoon, movie, everything. I've, I've, I just finished mm-hmm. the cartoons a couple weeks ago, and those series weren't bad, actually. You should watch them. So, uh, moving on, we're going to uh, cover some other stuff. Crimson Sin here. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like, sub, and share. Also, for the most up-to-date information about the podcast, follow us on Twitter at C15Podcast. 